Good morning, welcome to this short service for Mothering Sunday. We begin with the collect and special prayer for today. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Whenever we gather together as normal or like this, it's always worth remembering to say sorry for the things that we've done wrong, to take time to repent. So let's call to mind our sin, our failure to value the love of others, our failure to love as Christ loved us. In these short prayers, when I say, Lord, have mercy or Christ, have mercy, please repeat the phrase. Your love gives us life. We fail to live as your children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You call us to do good. We seek our own good. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You hear us when we cry for help. We ignore the cries of others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from John chapter 19, beginning at verse 25. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Thanks be to God. It's a very peculiar sort of Mothering Sunday this year. I won't be holding services in church. I won't be blessing posies, flowers to be given away. Like so many, I'll be able to phone my mum, but I won't be able to give her a hug. And of course, that's the situation year in and year out for some. There are folk whom this day is always difficult. There are those who have never been able to be parents. There are those who never had the experience of good and loving parents. Those whose parents, and today, of course, especially those whose mums have died. We should always remember them and do what we can to make sure they know that they too are loved. This year I'm perhaps a little bit more aware of it because on Friday my auntie Christine died. And for my cousin James, I'm sure today is a very bittersweet experience. The more so because less than two months ago at the end of January, Jo, James' wife, lost her mum. And as well as the grief at their loss, I hope that today will also be full of happy memories and that they come back in floods to remind them of all the joy, the fun, the laughter, and the love that they shared with their mums. I know that the love Christine showed to James made a difference to him, even if he hadn't said as much. It's plain to see, and was plain to see in their relationship. I heard all about it in conversations with Christine. And there comes a little challenge in the reflection, the difference that we can make by our love the difference that love makes. In the reading we hear of Jesus dying on the cross, giving his mother and the beloved disciple into the care of each other. In that great act of love for the world on the cross, he carries out an act of love for those with him, right beside him. We are, in these days, going to need to show plenty of love to those around us in these strange days to come. To those we share a house with and to those in the community around us. The challenge is to see the love of God in action 
in his church as we, along with, of course, many, many people from outside the church, come together to show the love of neighbour in word and deed that Jesus shows to us and that Jesus gave us the pattern for in his life and death. So today, as always, love God, love your neighbour, give thanks and love for your mum, and look after one another. Amen. We continue by affirming what we believe together as Christians. So we declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to offer our prayers Prayers for ourselves, prayers for others, prayers for the world. To the bidding God of love, please respond, hear our prayer. So let us pray, let us pray to God who loves all people as a mother loves her children. Heavenly Father, soften with a mother's gentleness all the hardness of human hearts. May the Holy Family of Nazareth bring blessing wherever people live together and draw all races and nations to be one family in your love. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray for all mothers especially those in our own and local families, give them the unfailing love that Mary gave to Jesus and uphold them in times of anxiety and distress. God of love, hear our prayer. Have mercy on mothers who suffer for themselves or for their children through sickness, misfortune or human cruelty. Give them the strength of your presence, which comforted Mary in her sorrow. God of love, hear our prayer. Because your love is more constant than the love of any human mother, we pray with confidence for the repose of all who have died in the faith of Jesus Christ. God of love, hear our prayer. We give thanks and pray for doctors, nurses and medical researchers that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Grant them the strength to care for all in need of their skills. God of love, Hear our prayer. Seeking to have faith as little children, we offer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Amen. As God's children and heirs with Christ, we cry in the Spirit, Abba, Father, and pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In the following acclamation, to each bidding, please respond, thanks be to God. For the care of mothers, thanks be to God. For their patience when tested, thanks be to God. For their love when tired, thanks be to God. For their hope when despairing, thanks be to God. For their service without limit, thanks be to God. May God, who gave birth to all creation, bless us. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless us. May God, who broods as a mother over her children, bless us. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.